YouTube. We are here at Got Soul Miami, baby. This video is gonna be so dope. There's a couple things we're looking for. I need to find a Dior One Low, size 11. Hopefully you can find that. We're gonna be looking at Harito stuff. We're gonna be talking to the influencers that you guys watch all the time just to kind of get some, uh, you know, their uh, point of view on things like that. And I know a couple of you guys left some questions for Brandon at the shop. I'm gonna ask him those. Subscribe to the content. We're taking you guys everywhere. We're taking you to after parties showing you all the dopest content all the stuff that's out here don't miss out oh i saw an mcm bag out there too don't tell justice but i'm gonna go check it out let's go see yo check this out so they have all the haritos right i'd love to just cop all of them this is what everybody's going after right now we got a size nine and a half through it looks like they got all the sizes to the six. So the biggest size is the nine and a half over here. Yeah, over here, and then we got, you know, over there. We get it from a skate shop too, you feel me? Word. A lot of smaller sizes. A lot of them. You don't really, you can't really find them in 11, 11 and a half, 12 like that. Word. Bro, I'm telling you, he had one size, one size 11. Damn. And I had, we had, a, he was rapping on them. Word? Yeah. Oh, damn. That bitch is fire, bro. They got the bottle opener. The material on that shit's crazy. It's got a bottle opener on it? Yeah, it's a right there. Yeah, right here. Oh, inside here? Oh, that's crazy. It's got I a bottle opener. Like that, Jacket. That's fire, bro. You can't, get, you can't get a large or extra large. So crazy. All right, well, damn. How much was the jacket? That is like 300, bro. I got 20. Okay. And then, uh,. What did you, what would you do for, would you do any sort of deal if I took all of them? I'd probably have to be talking about my prices, bro. So I already sold a few of them. Uh, the six, seven, and then the seven and a half. I'm like at 460. I got, I got the eight and a half at 4, 480. And then what about the nine? a nine and a half at five. And then the shirt and then the jacket, what would you do together on those? The jacket, I would have to be more about 280 somewhere. Okay. Uh, the shirt, I'd be about 120. Would you do 350 cash for all of it? Would you come down a little bit if I took them both? I need it. I need it bad. I'd have to like a 380 for both. Okay. You got, uh, what do you have for pay apps? Let me Venmo you 380 then. I'll yeah, take it. Cool. Bet. So we just copped the Haritos shirt and the Haritos jacket. Super dope. I mean, I cannot not come home with that so far. <laughs> They got a Dior Low over here. We're gonna see what size it is. It looks like it might be an 11. Look at it, we're close. You need a man on the inside. Yeah. Bro, what size, you said, what was this? I think I already saw this one today. Size 10. Come on, man. Oh, we need the 11. You can fit it, you can fit it. Take the insole off. At least a 10 and a half. We're buying like a $10,000 shoe. I need it to fit me. Uh, Put the back out, man. Where I slip. I know, right? Or the toe box. Damn, it's right there. All right, thank you.
All right, what's up, everybody? I'm here from Gabe with Whatnot. So I'm thinking about, and mostly I, I am going to sign up and do Whatnot. So the reason why I came over and I want to talk to you really quick, I appreciate I know you're a busy, man, no, running around like crazy. Yeah, I'm here But for um, literally, so if someone were going to sign up on Whatnot, like we have a lot of like areas in South Dakota where people are selling out of their little stores, little stuff like that. If, I, if someone else wanted to sign up for Whatnot, what, why should we do it? You know what I mean? Well, first and foremost, like when we talk about the sneaker culture and the sneaker community, it's just that. It's a community, right? Yeah. There's a reason why these events exist, right? People want that one-on-one -on -one connection to be able to, to haggle a price down or yeah. meet someone and be like, yo, what's good, right? <laughs> right, yeah. right? It builds brand. It yeah. builds community. And inevitably, there hasn't really been, one, a platform to be able to do that. To Not at all, yeah. Point, right? I mean, we have some of those other companies that are out there that, you know, they sell very transparent transactionally, right? Right. And at the end of the day, all the glory should go to the reseller, sure. right? A brand should be able to go and represent themselves and sell what they built. Right? And then when it comes to building and stuff like that, now, when a new guy comes on, obviously there's other streamers that have been on there for a long time and they're killing it. You guys actually help the, the seller grow, right? Like, basically I'd be assigned to you or someone's assigned to me type deal, how that works. Yeah, so again, another really cool thing about WhatNot is we take pride in helping and investing in the sellers that want to invest in the WhatNot, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, you, I, you, know, you get what you put out of yeah, it. Yeah, you know, you in any business, right? It's yeah. like, yo, you come into it, like you gotta be willing to invest, right? right? And yeah. I can tell just by like your guys' group together and like everybody, like the vibe over here is so fun. Like I don't want, I like all the other booths, I just want to hang out here like all day. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's so dope. And uh, I'm not just saying that, it is really fun over here. Then you guys had a stage, you guys were giving away stuff the whole time, yeah. so it's just really cool to, you guys are actually here too, you're talking about community. You've been at like all these shows, so you like know all these people oh, too, dude, yeah? Man. Yeah. You've seen them in person, right? Like right. One, one thing is to be able to talk with them digitally, right? Yeah. But then when you come together, right? Yeah. When the community comes together in a place like this for an event like this. Yeah, yeah. It's Bro, so dope. We saw it. We saw it. Yeah. Uh, I <laughs> he got that, some, yeah, they he got, got the recap. Yeah. You guys probably see it. It was wild. Yeah, that no, people, crazy. Were, people were yanking and pulling. <laughs> yeah. Like People were having a good time. And so at, again, at the end of the day, that's what the sneaker community is about. Bet, it's bet. about a community. Yeah. And we got to bring that back. Man. For sure. That's man. it. Yeah, so thank you so much for your time, man. Yeah. I'm going to get signed up on whatnot. I can't wait to get started. And uh, let's go. And let's then, go. Uh, we're looking let's forward to that, that party tonight, man. We're looking forward to it. Oh, you know, yo, so that good. party. You guys are going to see this afterwards. Yankee Kicks party being thrown at their place. Whatnot X Yankee Kicks is going to oh. be a wild one. Bet, bet. Right. Well, we'll get some on camera for you guys. All right, what's my guy, Emily Kicks, right here? What's up, baby? How's what's it going? What's going on? How you so, doing? Good. So I've been buying shoes from you for a minute now. Probably almost, what, a year and a half now, probably-ish? Goes back at least a, at least a year, right? No, over a no, year. Oh so yeah, man, you're killing on YouTube right now. I love watching it. Hey, I, I'm trying. I try to do my best out there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just have fun with you know what I'm saying. The job that we do. So funny, bro. So funny. My favorite videos, bro. Is like I was telling you earlier, like when you go to the mall and you're messing with people and you're getting the releases. Yeah. But what do you got to say to the kids, man, that want to like start YouTube and start doing what you're doing? Because you started out. Tell your story real quick. You got a good. One. Um. So, I kind of started out with like shoes in general from like. Basically because I was buying it and my mother was like kind of a little mad at me for having too many shoes So I just started flipping to get new shoes and then I found out it was a business yeah. And you know really kind of got involved into it, but when it comes to YouTube, I didn't start YouTube to about Probably like a year and a half ago, wow. but yeah, so like I'm still new in this That's game awesome. But but I'm just like, you know, just consistency in YouTube want to make content one thing I've been telling everybody who asked me if they want to do YouTube I just say be genuine and be yourself. And then now, man, what do you, you start, how many pairs do you have on, like, in stock pretty much at all times right now? What are you working with? Um, so, matter of fact, that's a crazy that you asked that question. We finally just, I was working on my inventory for a whole week straight to get everything done. Um, so I usually have on hand about, I'm at about like a thousand pairs. Thousand. Yeah. Thousand. So I keep about a thousand. thousand thousand on hand and then having money to spend too so yeah. but I usually just circulate that right now but I'm still just trying to grow my inventory every day. Dude, and that's dope. How crazy is that, bro? You come to a sneaker con, come with some money, set up your table, buy pairs for four, put them on your table, sell for more. So oh, like I don't if people so I got a like a crazy stat. So as we've been doing inventory, we found out that I sell 70% of the shoes like for a sneaker con. 
I sell 70% of the shoes that I bought that same, that day, same day at SneakerCon again. And that's smart to do that way too, right? Because you're going and buying what's hot right now. Yeah. Yeah, so you're going to get what's going Or hot. just find the stuff at the right price. And if you find it at the right price, you're able to give it to somebody else at the right price. So. Thank you so much for your time, big guys. Appreciate it, buddy. So, yes, yeah, sir. we'll be seeing you soon. Heavenly Kicks. Don't Appreciate miss out. Follow around. around. All right. So, right. So right here you got the unreleased Supreme Dunks. These are craziness. These are super dope. Wow, the quality is amazing on these. Super great. Man, Supreme dropped a dunk. It's been a while since they dropped something crazy like this, I feel, yeah, right? It's very nice. This is super dope. And then this is the Crenshaw dunk. So if you guys have been paying attention to the internet, Master Chef got a lot of shit from Nike FB for posting this. Did you see that when he posted it? And I see that. Nike FB was really mad at him for not being able to explain the story or whatever, but how cool is that? The Crenshaw with the kids. All right, so we're here with Soul Kicks on Wheels with who we got here? Eddie Lewis. Eddie Lewis. So how, uh, tell me the story of how this all came about. This is Shoes on Wheels. Do you drive up to places to sell shoes? What made you want to do this? All right, that's what we do. So middle of the pandemic, everything's shutting down. Stores, malls were closing. So we came up with the idea of bringing the shopping experience to the customers. This is so cool. And I've seen you guys at a lot of events now too. So I'm really thinking that, you know, uh, I don't know, has anybody else like copied what you've done so far? Cause I really feel like you guys are pioneers with this. Yeah, well, we were, we were actually the first one in the world. Wow. Register, yeah. yeah so that's there's so cool. none, there's probably others out there, but we don't pay attention. No, exactly. Yeah. There's room for everybody. <laughs> 100 percent everybody can eat. This is so cool. So you have the wall up here too. So mainly sneakers or do clothing too or just shoes? Uh merch is coming soon. For now, just sneakers. Very cool. And then so what are your guys' socials so we can follow you on there? Soul Kicks on Wheels on Soul Instagram. Kicks on wheels. So dope. And then all the sizes are out here. Do you have more or is everything you see is what you have for right there? No, no, no. It varies. We got various sizes. Very sizes, very cool. So thank you so much, man. Thank this you, super dope. Thank you. Soul Kicks on Wheels. Follow us, guys. Let's go. All right, what is up, guys? So I'm here with the man, Brandon. What's up, baby? How's it going, dude? Good, good, good. good, good. So uh, people come to the store all the time because, you know, they see me coming bothering you guys all the time doing my hijinks I normally do, you know? And uh, they're always asking. So when you see Brandon, can you ask him a question for me? So this, this is me doing that. The, uh, the all, every kid wants to know, and I'm sure you get this in a lot of DMs too. How did you start? Did you start with like one or two shoes, three, four shoes? Like what's your, what was your come up? Yeah, I started with blue tint Yeezys. I think blue tints was my first one. A lot of some ultra boots. I don't know, I have terrible memory, so it's hard for me to go back. But I think it was blue tint Yeezys, the one I remember. That was my college apartment that I was in. Right. I know only selling it for like 30 buck profit, but that was kind of what led me to. Did you bot ever? Did you like do any yeah, bots? Yeah, heavy, yeah, heavy, heavy, heavy. Nice, nice. Yeah, heavy. Yeah, heavy. Yeah, heavy. Yeah, heavy. That's dope. It's not what it used to be, and it's very, it's not. It's not. My come up, I guess, was a lot easier, in my opinion. We had botting, so sure. it's easy to scale and get multiple pairs at a time. Now that's it's like non-existent almost, unless right. you have a private bot, and there's some big dogs out there. Gotcha. And then so now that like owning a store, at what point, um, what the kids said, at what point do you feel like you're ready to start a store? If you're telling somebody like, okay, everybody thinks I need 500 pairs, 600 pairs, 700, you know what I'm saying? What's a good spot for somebody to start? I don't really think, it, I guess it has to do with pairs, but it also has to deal with capital, time, really big as well as do you want to commit to taking on a for sure expense like on a lease on a five-year three-year one year whatever it is and commit to doing that plus building out your store plus hiring yeah and then on the flip side marketing bringing people in dealing with customer service doing it it's, it's a hard yeah. decision people think just yo I open up a store well they forget you got payroll, you got insurance, you got security, then you got people who need to read in the store, then you gotta worry about people not stealing from your store, then you gotta deal with customers who charge back and customers who are unhappy, then leave a shitty Google review. Yeah. Or if they really love you, then they want stuff sourced, and if you don't have the time to source, then you gotta find something to consistently source, and if they're not happy with that way, how you source, then you're gonna lose them, and, like, right. just yep. so much. Yeah, that's a lot. The uh, I love what you put on the Instagram the other day when uh, you guys did a drop. If you guys haven't gotten the drop, go check that out. The shorts and everything, sure, they're yeah, so yeah. fire. Hopefully we get some yeah. sneaker flavor, some shorts in yeah. their store. A little re-up for something. You know, definitely going to re-up on more shorts. You guys love them. You put something out there that's so cool, dude. Like, I almost kind of gave me goosebumps, bro. It was like, you said, uh, start a brand, market the shit out of it, and push it. Like, that's exactly what you all did. Because I, I watched you all grow, like, right in front of my eyes. So, so dope. But literally, that's what you did, right? You just got it, you marketed it, and then like Bryce, and you literally have a team of guys that are just doing your content, yeah? Yeah, it's we've spent a lot of money, lot of money. and we invested a lot of money into the content. Which all your money goes there, right? Like as far like not all of it, but you know what I I'm mean, saying? I mean, yeah, it goes into payroll, rent, and then content. 
I mean, we buy, we consider, we got a full podcast room. We bought three camera sets. We got three ten thousand dollar camera rigs. Wow. And then we have each person, each of our editors has their own PC, which the company pays for. So that's basically another ten grand. Right. Plus the photos, shit that we use, and the building out, the, like I said, the podcast and all the podcast needs and the actual dashboard. From, whatever the thing is for the podcast. But again, I don't know anything about it, which yeah. is why I outsource it to them. We take care of them as much as we can and we're going to continue to invest in right. the content. Because for us specifically, content drives everything. Dude, I really love how you set it up for me next because the podcast. Now, we see this big, beautiful podcast room. They've seen it on my videos, your videos. What's going on? What are we doing? Yeah. When are we putting it out? Big podcast room with no podcast to show for it, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's something that we're just trying to get in the groove and we need another editor to come on to make sure that time can be allotted. We also, we filmed our first one already, but oh, nice. we need to line it up and back. Like we can't just film the first one, go dead for right. three months and then film it. Like, it's not how it works. We gotta have this shit lined up strategically and we just, it hasn't been the way we want to launch it, so we're not gonna force it until it is. And hopefully this summer we can do it, but we've been saying hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. So. Yep. And then also, you know, consistency is a key, right? I know that you've told me that with content, blah, blah, blah. I mean, like, that's how you guys, I would, would you, put your blow up with that like your guys were consistent all yeah, the time it's consistent posting. but it's also figuring out okay what trends are really going on right now and then what can you also pave the way for in terms of like for example we've done coin flipping everybody does coin flipping but yeah. if you do it kind of in your own way and some people it really blows up then it's bam we got to do another coin flip and another coin flip after oh, that okay, but fine. yeah which is the consistency of it and that really sucks for you too because that's just like more money you're losing over and over and over again. yeah because i can't win a coin flip <laughs> to save my life yeah so no it's dope so um I'll, I wanted to ask you too, uh, they've all asked, you know, do you think Common Hype, those guys will ever come out South Dakota, Minnesota? Now, when I open up a new spot, I'm gonna send you guys an invite, definitely gotta come down when we open up the new spot. Kai said he would come too, so if he shows up and you don't, I'm gonna be really upset. Yeah, dude, Minnesota, <laughs> South Dakota, not a state we go to often, man, holy cow. I love the sport, yeah, as yeah. long as it fits on the yeah. calendar. I mean, definitely, oh yeah, I'll You always sure support us, so. Yeah. That would it's be all good. absolutely an honor for us to come visit you. You guys heard it here first. They're going to come down soon. So I just got to get on my game and open up that next spot. So, so and obviously, I wouldn't plan it on a sneaker con or like your wedding day or something. So don't worry. Yeah, definitely not my wedding day. <laughs> I will not make it for that one. But, <laughs> all right. Thank you so much, yeah, dude. Course, all right, bro. Thank you guys. Hey. Make sure to subscribe already if you have not already. Sneaker flavors. Store number two is coming. But if you guys are in South Dakota, make sure to go grab everything on the apparel and everything from them because there's nothing out there. And then hopefully, wholesale Common Hype shorts. You guys get to retail Common Hype shorts for the summer. Thanks, dude.